What's up, Clappers? Welcome to another video brought to you by Erotic Walrus. So I know with patch 1.1 came a lot of things that made things in the world of Genshin more engaging. Reputation is one of those things. So whether you've been playing since launch or just recently joined the game in this video, I will break down how to use this system, the perks it brings, and tips to fully utilize it. So you can access the reputation system by locating this symbol on the map. When you first open the reputation tab, you will have the weekly bounty system unavailable. To unlock this feature, you would need to be reputation 2, which through exploring the region and accepting quests from locals, it will not take you too long to achieve. At Reputation 2, you can do Weekly Bounties, which is a way to get some Weekly Reputation EXP. It's important to do these as 300 EXP per week will add up over time, so do find time to knock them out each week. I will go into detail in the video on how to track down and beat the bounty bosses, so if you are here for that, please skip to the time displayed on the screen now. Now next, we have the Request tab. You unlock this as you progress through the main story, so for some newer players, you might not have access to this yet. but no need to worry just keep progressing through the game and this option will become available it's a similar function to the bounty system and offers a way to get consistent weekly exp in the request tab you will find npcs who are asking for a small amount of local commodity in exchange for some mora and reputation exp all in all it is very easy to complete these so the main reason you should be working on your reputation is to mainly unlock the recipes in the reward sections. These will range from food items to utility items. That helps you navigate the game easier, especially for players who are not able to get their hands on venti. Once you reach reputation 3 in Monset, you can acquire the recipe to make a wind catcher and navigate the world with a pocket updraft. Although it's only a one-time use, its functionality is unrivaled in a clutch situation to reach something which would otherwise require a time-extensive workaround. World exploration and quest is quite straightforward. You simply go out into the respective regions and explore. A good way to find tasks is if you go to achievements and locate your respective region. There you will see things you can do to increase your exploration progress. For quests, you will find NPCs who have blue exclamation marks on their head and you can talk to them to accept and complete the quests. If you don't see any NPCs with the mark, it's probably because it's nighttime and you simply can go to the clock function and change it to daytime. And if you have cleared the quest in this area and you will have to go elsewhere to find other quests. Anyways, you just need to travel around the Mondstadt area for the Mondstadt and the Liyue area for Liyue. Now taking a look at how to complete the bounty quest. You want to first accept the bounty quest and I suggest you accept the 100 EXP quest since you are locked to 3 quests per week. You want to be choosing the highest valued one. Although the monster you will be fighting does hit quite hard and can be tough to beat, so if you absolutely cannot beat it, you may opt for the easier options. Once you accept the quest, a marker with an orange circle will appear in the region you accept the quest. Once you are inside the quest area, a timer will appear at the top of your screen, and you can use the middle mouse button, or if you are on mobile, click the eyeball icon on the top left corner of your screen to find traces of the quest. They will appear as these blue lines that guide you toward the direction to help you with the quest. You will follow these traces and complete three small tasks before being able to challenge the boss. So here we have located our first target. Small tasks can range from finding a trail mark to defeating monsters. Once you beat the boss, you can return and turn in the bounty. So we here, we have our last task. Once we finish all three tasks, the boss will spawn in that quest area, and you can easily tell because of the marker and symbol on top of it. Now this boss is quite difficult to beat, and he has certain resistances as mentioned too in the quest. So I do suggest you guys take some food if you are struggling to beat them. Finally, I have some tips for you guys to get the most out of this new feature. Firstly, as mentioned, I suggest clearing the 100 EXP bounty 3 times per week. Since you can only do 3 per week, it makes sense to do the ones that give you the most EXP. And also, the bounties are shared between Liyue and Mondstadt, so it doesn't matter if whichever region you prefer, you can clear the 100 EXP 3 times per week. The reputation system has 8 levels, with the final reward being a glider. I'd say not to stress too much 
over the system as it seems there is currently no time limit and you will not be missing out on much just because you finished it later than others. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for the amazing support you have given my channel and we smashed through 100,000 views recently. For those who are watching until the end, consider subscribing as I post videos daily that ranges from memes, guides, discussion, rants, and more. Also, do leave a comment as I make it my mission on this channel to respond to every single comment. Even for my previous video, which had me quite busy responding, I still managed to respond to every single one. So you guys can try to challenge me on that. Being a small channel, I can try to cater to each and every one who has questions and will be able to best optimize my content for you guys. If you haven't joined my Discord yet, do consider as the first 100 members gets a special role. So with that, I'll leave you guys for now, but do not fret as we will see each other again tomorrow. So till then, peace, peace.